it's already three hours long. So, if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and... Globes, globes everywhere, but not a single globe for Martin Scorsese. I, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. <laughs> Martin Scorsese sits there. He looks very miserable <laughs> the entire time. Maybe it's because he's not winning anything. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, he laughed at a couple of the jokes, and I, I like to see him laugh because I was like, God, he looks well. really serious. Mm. <laughs> but yeah. um, I don't know. I, I've not seen The Irishman yet. I'm going to tackle it tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I'm setting out the entire afternoon because that's what it'll take the <laughs> whole three and a half hours of it. Yeah, um, but then you can reflect and see yes. whether it was deserving of anything or yeah. whether. Yeah, what do you think? Are you shocked? Did it deserve? I, I, I mean, I'm shocked that it didn't win anything, but I wasn't necessarily rooting for it to win anything in particular. Obviously, I thought it might have won one of the acting categories, supporting actor, maybe. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, no, it didn't. Ultimately. Uh, this is what today is all about. We're going to talk about the Golden Globe Awards, which Globes, took place Globes, on... Globes, 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 Globes. <laughs> took place on Sunday night for us. I stayed up, regret it deeply. Um, <laughs> God, I got two and a half hours in and they'd only done like five film categories. Yeah. Oh, it was terrible. I was sat there going, when are the movies starting? It mm. was 45 minutes and there'd only been the foreign language film. I was like, what is going on? There should be two ceremonies, one for TV and one for... Yeah, there probably should, to be honest. Have because they, they always put the TV people, like, at the back. Yeah. And have all the movie yeah. stars at the Good. front. Just, like, <laughs> separate them off. It takes them yeah. five minutes to get to the stage anyway. So, mm -hmm. you know, they may as well, you know, put them yeah. in a separate category, a separate thing. But then again, <laughs> if you were a TV star, like, one of the, you know, the up-and-coming TV stars, not one of the, like movie people that's gone to tv mm. it allows you to be in a room full of movie stars which is pretty cool it is yeah so i mean it's kind of like a treat it's isn't them. it it's like you're getting, you're getting a nomination for your tv show but you're also going to get to see meryl streep and you know Robert De Niro. yeah you can mingle yeah, yeah which is quite nice i saw on one of the little bits meryl streep talking to eddie murphy which i was just yes, like yeah. wow them two just, just don't look like they yeah mix. <laughs> yeah that was that was a bit. I was like, oh god. Right. Yeah. Well, should we start from the beginning and work our way through then, and just yeah, give absolutely. Our kind of thoughts of the show. Yes. So sounds good. I mean, it's not going to be a surprise because I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it already. I hate mm. Ricky Gervais. He yes, just you do. Solidified it with this show. Yeah. His opening monologue. Oh god, it was awful. I hated it. It's intentional though, isn't it? He's it actually is. a very nice man, I think. But he. Yeah his persona to do it and that's why they've hired him and yeah. I, I reckon it's just as much the hollywood foreign press saying to him be controversial this year yeah because we it. really like it as, as much as it is him wanting to do it i think tom hanks didn't like it though they kept cutting to him <laughs> like oh, in his face yeah. he just did not look like he was enjoying that i think all. maybe he was just uncomfortable because they kept turning to him as for a reaction yeah. and jonathan price as well he didn't look like he um no. appreciated the speech either. not really yeah no no um, but it's not to everyone's taste and i think that's the idea exactly um but i don't think he'll do it again i don't think he looks like he's enjoying himself no, there. no, I don't think so. He's probably got paid an awful lot of money and thought, all right, fine, whatever, it's one yeah. night. Yeah, I'll do it. So um, we've mentioned that there were no film awards for ages, which was nope. odd because usually they do a supporting actor or actress first, don't they? Just to start yeah. off like a, yeah. a, you know, with a film one to kind of get you into it. And they didn't do that this time. They did like, mostly TV completely at the beginning and then did all yeah. of the film at the end. Gold Derby, the website, released earlier in the day the list of running order, and that was not the running order that happened. Um, mm, I wonder if they yeah. changed it last minute. Maybe it was like a like last a minute made kind of change because it was yeah. it was odd. I was like, God, this is like this is a long time, and there's no movie yeah. stuff. It was very so. unusual. And then we had um, Quentin Tarantino win best screenplay for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, yes, which was right. not a surprise. Not a surprise. I guess not. No, but also I didn't. I didn't put that in as my prediction because stupidly, um, I'd only just seen the two popes, and I think that was fresh in my mind. I thought hmm, that's dialogue heavy. Mm. Let's go with that one. <laughs> this is the problem, I think, when you see a film, it, you you need time with films. I think 
for them to sit with you. Yeah. Because you always feel slightly differently about them when you've just seen it. You're always yeah. more encouraging. Or sometimes maybe you're not encouraging, but after reflection, it's like, for instance, for me, I really enjoyed Marriage Story when I watched it, but I yeah. can't stop thinking about it. I think I would like yeah. actually put it higher than I thought about it at mm. first. I think there's, it, it's just you need that sitting time. Yeah, I think maybe I didn't go for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood because I feel like Quentin Tarantino's had better screenplay yeah. before and that maybe just ruled it out in my head and I've gone, mm, you know yeah. what, I'll go for something a bit different thinking that the two popes, it'll be the only one that it might possibly try and win. But I'm looking at the list now yeah. and I'm like, what's stupid thing to do? <laughs> I, see, it, I had a few like that. There was a few I thought, why? Why did you put it that? Because yeah. you know it's not going to win. There was at least three that did that for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll just say um, I missed out to the first film one was the foreign language and it was parasite obviously parasite yeah we that was a complete no-brainer yeah i think that's the one that everybody just knew was gonna happen. i think it will sweep the entire season i can't see anything getting no better than that. I, I i just just that's the dead cert isn't it for for yeah. all of them um yeah, I'm very to see that one. so yeah so we had tarantino it didn't like his speech it was very very obnoxious he is though isn't uh, he? as usual um so yeah. no surprise there though um yeah. then we had animated that was a shock yeah in a category that has frozen 2 toy story 4 lion king three big disney powerhouses yeah. and even uh, dreamworks which is how to drain your dragon 3 yeah. missing link mm. one i think everyone was shocked yeah yeah I mean, up against Frozen and Toy Story, you would not think it had a no. chance. So no. that was that was definitely strange. I don't think it will win anything else. No, maybe no, a, may, is it is it nominated at the Baftas? I don't think it's at the Baftas now. No, so no. even even the Baftas didn't nominate it, and it's a British film. Yeah. So I mean, highly it's, unusual. Yeah, that was a shock. But the thing is, I deliberately didn't watch it, thinking, "Ah, there's no point." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was totally left field i don't really know if i like the look of it i don't know too much about it but just looking yeah. at it i'm like mm. it looks like a bit of like a what you'd yeah. expect in a in a short film category a short yeah, film anime it looks category. very average for for um that studio i mean yeah. looking at what they've made before like i mean kubo from a few years, right, years yeah. ago i mean that was spectacularly made it was, it was okay. <laughs> complete no, the film itself was okay but the actual work the way it was, into made, it yeah. was phenomenal yeah, that really motion, did look right fantastic yeah um so compared to like past entries yeah it did look a bit meh yeah so shock um then yeah. we had the first one that i'm extremely annoyed about um uh-huh. is laura dern won for best supporting actress i'm so pleased because i love laura dern mm, um yeah but i didn't predict her and i knew she was gonna win so i don't know why i didn't predict her yeah whether or not she's the best one there or not no, because I, I've having seen Marriage Story, I'm, I've not seen any of the others yet. Um, no. but I just I thought she, it was very run of the mill. Yeah, it was good. She's good at what she does, and she always is. She was funny and interesting to watch, mm. but the character itself, it's not. It wasn't very demanding role. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't stand out. No. Just, mm. Yeah. Yeah. So it, when I looked at it that way, that's why I went for somebody else. Yeah. Because I just thought. But we just didn't no. know, though, did we? No, it's, the Golden Globes are the hardest one to, to call because you just don't know. There's no pattern yet. No, and the categories are weird. Yeah, there's a few critics ones that uh, you know that come out and, and they get awarded first, but the critics are always different to yeah. the major ceremonies. That They're never the same. Um, so you can't call it. It's, you're going to either do really well and you're going to, you know, but that, a lot of that's fluke, uh, or yeah. you're going to miss out on on your predictions because you just don't know how it's going to go until the night so it's it's a funny one and then we had the elton john song it's not my favorite song of all of them i don't think i Um, it's another one i'm a little bit kind of like "Mm, i should have probably known i mean you've got elton john at the hfpa are notorious for wanting big (laughs) stars and big names at their show and they've got Elton John coming with his song. I mean, it, sh- it was a no-brainer, really, when you actually think about it. They had Taylor Swift and Beyonce in the room as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it, it was... And the team behind Frozen. It was another stacked category, I suppose, when yeah. you look at it. 
Um, but I it, don't know if it would win the Oscar. I don't know. I don't know if no, I can I'm see it. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The only reason maybe I can think is, like you said, it's Elton and Bernie Taupin. Yeah. And it's like a career kind of award, yeah. isn't it? So it sort of gets tactical. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. It's like another one that was like, mm, yeah, probably probably should mm. be a bit naive not to pick that one. Yeah. Um and, and again there was quite a few I uh, uh, shocked winners. There was yes. I, I noticed from this. There was yeah. there was a, a few that were just like, Oh, right, okay. I can't believe it. <laughs> can't can't believe I've I've won this. Um, yeah. I'm gonna nip into the score. It was it wasn't at the same time as this, but stick with they go music. hand in hand, don't they? Yes. Um Joker won. Yes. Um, I'm really pleased. Yes, because it's the most memorable score I think out of yeah. what I've heard. Yeah. So I've heard so. a lot of people raving about 1917. It's interesting, isn't it? It's not something we would have expected because mm. they've made it obviously in this one big take. You'd expect actually yeah. that they wouldn't be using a lot of non-diegetic music mm-hmm. or sounds. You know, you think it'd all be very much in the scene, but, but yeah. apparently there's yeah. a score in there. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah. And obviously this was, um, I think it's the first female composer to win at the Golden Globes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was nice. It was nice to see. Yeah. When you look at the composers you think oh well she'll never win but when you actually listen to the music listen to it. it's yeah. like it is so much a part of the movie yeah and that's why this was a good win because mm-hmm. it was based on the work and not on the person yeah yeah yep. so I, I i agreed with that one i was very yeah. happy about that one um i'm gonna nip into uh best supporting actor now um, yeah. That was another one I was really annoyed about. Um, Brad Pitt won for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, yeah, yeah. Another one I probably should have gone. I went with Tom Hanks and I'm so annoyed I did because there's two reasons he was never going to get it. One, because he was already being awarded with the Cecil B. DeMille Award. So they were never going to right. give him another one um, unless it was absolutely amazing yeah, blew it um, away. yeah and the second reason is because um the film's just disappeared it's just getting yeah. no talk I, i'm i think that's the studio's fault potentially i don't think they've marketed properly i don't think they've brought it out at the right time no. um i've i listened to quite a few podcasts um a lot of which are based in america um and a lot of them have been talking about the fact that they've just not been sending yeah. anything out we don't think it even came out here yeah there was no screeners for it. They weren't sending it out, so they obviously weren't pushing it. Um, no, yeah, probably and they probably, bothered. yeah, they probably could have done. And so I think that's yeah. the studio's downfall. Really, it's their fault that it's not really made anything of this season. And I think that that's probably a real shame because I really am looking forward to seeing it. Early on, I thought it was going to be one of the big contenders by mm. the end of the year. I yeah. genuinely did. And they've no, just, apparently they've not. just like let it go, which I think is really, mm. really sad. Yeah. I went Al Pacino in this category. <laughs> just because I could. Um, um it, it was he more deserving? Brad Pitt, I think it's I mean he's not he's good in it, but again it it kind of looks very Brad memorable. Pitt. Yeah, yeah I don't remember too much. I remember him driving around a bit and looking out of his car window for a while and... playing the cool dude. He just looks like Brad yeah. Pitt, basically. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. I might watch it again, you know. I might try and. I was thinking that when I was watching the clips. I was watching the clips for when they were putting them up. um, Mm. And I did think, do you know what? I might have to rewatch that one. It won the most as well. It Mm. won the most awards. Yeah, so. so, Interesting. It needs a rewatch, I think, because it came out, when was it July? Just after Mm, that? Towards the end of summer, I think. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah, I think it definitely requires a rewatch, but that's a long one as well. It's lot, yeah. That's the thing. We're under so much pressure now to get everything seen that you feel like you don't have that time. Uh, I'm gonna have to rewatch it though. I think definitely they did best director very early. I thought. Yeah, I think it's a nice one to put later. Yeah, maybe. It, I think it's because most of the other places do, or they do it last. One like or just before best picture. You just know? before last. Yeah. Yeah, it, and uh, and they did this quite early. There's quite a lot of awards still to go. Yeah. Um, and they did Best Director, which I was really surprised about. But I called mm. it Sam Mendes for no, 1917. Really <laughs> I, yeah. I, I was impressed. <laughs> I was, yeah. When it happened, I was like, I shouted out loud. I was like, yes. Yeah. I'm really happy for him. I am. Um, I just think, I haven't seen it, obviously, because it, it doesn't yeah. come out until Friday. But it just looks solid quality. It looks like it's just, uh, you know, 
a mm. shoe in. He just seemed a little bit like the underdog they were going in. He did, and, and he along looked with, like along it. with Todd Phillips, actually. Todd mm-hmm. Phillips also was kind of oh, not yeah. looking likely at all, but I think people have really taken that cinematography element, mm. um, obviously with the absence of that category at the Golden Globes, and they've really run with it, and they've gone, actually, he's actually put a lot of thought into this, mm. and despite Scorsese having this epic and Tarantino doing the same in the category as well. Yeah, I'm not sure if he'll go all the way. I don't know. I, I'm i not sure if he can make it to Oscar. Mm. He might get the BAFTA. BAFTAs, BAFTAs, yeah, defo. He might yeah. get the BAFTA. That's probably his, his kind of best shot. Yeah, um, yeah. But the Oscars, I'm not. I'm just not sure if it's mm. kind of got it. I think I they know. might go with something else. I, I really do. The Irishman, which I put as my prediction, doesn't have a claim anymore, really. No, no. People, a lot of people I'm listening to are saying, Oscars-wise, it's just no hope now. Really? Usually if you get zero Golden Globes, it does not look good. I wonder if it's because it's Martin Scorsese. It's his typical film, the gangster thing, and they've seen it before. You know what I mean? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, it's not his best either. I wouldn't say it's his best. I'm wondering if Parasite's going to like go, everybody I've heard, the best of the decade, the best of 2019, yeah. it's coming up like really high on people's yeah. lists, really high. So I'm very intrigued to watch it because yeah, everybody's me too. talking about it. I I don't watch enough foreign films. Um, mm. I really don't. I, and I should try and watch more. And soon you'll watch Never Look Away and that will change your life. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I really should give them more of a chance. Uh, it's just, yeah. just not as um, accessible. What was that really nice quote that Bong Joon Ho had about um, that? If you can get over the one inch barrier of the subtitle, you'll experience much more amazing films. Or exactly. Like that. Really yeah. good. I really hope that resonates. Yeah. Basic common sense, really. But yeah, he's completely right. It does set a lot of people. They go, "Oh, subtitles, no." Yeah, but like you say, accessibility. Yeah. Accessibility wise, we just don't. See we don't them. get them. Don't get yeah. Them. You really don't get a chance yeah. to see them, which is a shame. No. My top films of the years for the last two years have been foreign language films, and I stand by. I think they were the best. Yeah, I I, I will agree that the quality for foreign film has gone up absolutely, yeah. unbelievably in the last what three or four years. Yeah, the absolutely. quality is just and and the actual acknowledgement of the quality of them. Yeah. has gone up exponentially More so. in, in the last i'd say maybe two years especially it's starting to flip people actually like them yeah they're actually and they're actually talking about them in the same breath yeah. as the other films not oh well we'll talk about this mm-hmm. category now they're actually talking about those films alongside all of the english films yeah. which is maybe nice things too. like netflix are actually helping yeah i hope so I hope so. I need my eyes open indefinitely. I'll hold my hands up to it. I, I don't watch enough. Start with Never Look Away. <laughs> I will. I will. Parasite. That'll be the first one. And Parasite. Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. I'll start with them. Right. We'll move on to um, Best Actress in Musical Comedy. The, yeah. This is the weird category. It, it, there was a, a lot of... Um, weird. Kind of, it could be this, could be that. Yeah. There, there was quite a few. Ironically, I think the least funny performance has won in the musical or comedy category. Yeah, it was Aquafina, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I find her so... She makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. She didn't sound like I expected her to sound no. up, because I've not seen her in a film yet. I've not seen The Farewell, so... She was dressed like this Victorian corpse, and she just came on. <laughs> she looks uncomfortable, which makes me feel uncomfortable. Mm. watching her that's how i felt um i'll tell you about the person later on but there was another person like that and i felt exactly like that when they don't tell me it's pierce brosnan's son doing the ushering in the background do do you know what it wasn't i didn't think it was that bad because i was was looking out a little bit for it i I love the bit where he tried to tell brad pitt to go one way and yeah he was just like no i'll go this way (laughs) he just ignored him he was like oh okay they needed someone who (laughs) had a bit more of a you know an authoritative presence really like his brother why wasn't his brother doing that bit? It looked like he was on work experience and Pierce Brosnan, you kept seeing him sat in the audience going, proud of my boy, kind of. <laughs> and why did everybody walk the wrong way after they finished speaking? I know, it's the same it's way. Blatantly every obvious. Every year. Every year. You turn around and walk towards the other way. So like, where are you going? That would be the first thing I would think about when I walked in. Right, okay, I've been nominated. How do I get on? How do I get off? 
if I actually do win, <laughs> I don't want to look like a moron. So, right, where's everybody going? And I'd be watching. Yeah. So yeah. that if I did win, I'd go the right way. And I didn't look like an idiot. Then they wouldn't need Pierce Brosnan Jr. or whatever his name was. <laughs> Paris. I think his name is Paris. Yeah, Pierce Brosnan Jr. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh. yep. So so not him, but I'll tell you who in a bit. Okay. So best actor in a musical comedy. Yes. This is my other one I was annoyed about. Um because in hindsight it, it was it's quite obvious. Um Taron Edgerton won for Rocket Man. Yeah. Which is the musical um in the one musical, out yeah. of the musical comedy. Which is what they kinda usually go mm. for, I suppose. So I think once Elton John had won, I was thinking Yeah. Actually, could be okay here yeah i went for taron edgerton and he's just, isn't he just like the the nicest guy he's maybe too nice for his own good yeah he was humble he was very nervous and he wasn't yeah. expecting it and oh my god did i laugh when you saw elton john he's he was bouncing. bouncing in his seat like a two-year-old <laughs> it was oh it was funny yeah I re- he was so excited and that yeah. was lovely to see he was quite childlike so excited about <laughs> it. um so that was nice, mm. um, but I did. I didn't vote for him. I voted for Leo. Yeah, um, which I think is not looking a bad... at it. No, it's not. Sorry. I mean, for, to be honest, that that was probably the other one. Yeah. So, having seen Jojo Rabbit today, yeah. um, Roman Griffin Davis. Oh, he was very good. Mm. He's he's absolutely right to be in the category. Yeah. with them because he's very good. Um, he he carries the movie absolutely carries it. He's in every scene, pretty much. Mm. Um, so I would actually I think I I know we just said you know obviously when you've just seen a film it sits differently. Yeah, I'd have been so pleased to see him win. Yeah, it was because it, he's just it'd be adorable. something different as well. You wouldn't see, you'd never seen anyone that young. But oh, it was, and I love that Taron Edgerton <laughs> was like, "Go Roman." Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, that was really cute. Um, how he, he like, and that that will make his night as well. He's like Absolutely. ten years old. That will yeah. make his night. He seems to be having um, time as well. Yeah, so that was just cute. I really enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so I'm I'm a bit annoyed because it made sense what they picked, and I yeah. should have probably gone with that. Um, but the others, um, I'm quite happy with because I think the last now few, on you did very well. Yeah. Yes, I got them all right. So I was quite happy mm-hmm. after this. So should we jump to Best Actress in a Drama then? Yes. No brainer, Just... really. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, it was going to be Renee, wasn't it, for Judy? Yes. Um, it's been quite quiet for her recently, obviously, because Judy came out in September. Yeah. It's gone now. It, yeah, it's very quiet. Yeah, the film was average, so it was never going to get lots of talk yeah. anyway. But... She, even her I, I i just haven't heard a lot no i haven't heard people talking about it like they were talking about the other people because all of these films were coming out after still it. happening yeah we we're expecting it too much so no one's talking about it and that was glenn close last year exactly everybody expected it yes and it never happened and at it the never end. Did. if you think oh well everybody will vote for them they won't i'll vote for them and that is how they lose yeah and that's where i went wrong in these categories <laughs> they think they're going to get voted for, so they vote for something else. Yeah, and then nobody ends up voting for them because they think they're such a shoe in. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it won't. My vote won't matter. Yeah, and it, it totally does. People go for what they like as opposed to what what they think's the best. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then we had best actor. Yes. Uh, which was Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. That was again. That was a dead cert as well. Yeah. Um, I'm. I don't know how I feel about this. Part of me is really pleased that they've actually let him win because a lot yeah. of people say, no, oh, it was very controversial and they were talking about all this. Um, and the fact that it's a comic book movie and a comic book character, again, that's already been that's right, yeah, know, it's already been awarded quite before. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there were, it's got that going against it. Um, yeah. So the fact that he actually did win was nice. But then on the other hand... Um, <laughs> I just um look at something like um Adam Driver for Marriage Story and mm. I would really love to see him win too. Yeah, I think Adam I, Driver's got a lot more opportunities oh, yes. ahead of him and yeah, I, think absolutely. I think there's better films that he could win for in the future. Yeah, I think there will. And and you've got to think that probably comes into consideration. 
mm. when they think about these things yeah, I, I mean yeah. if it was me and I was making the vote I, I would really really consider like all the factors in taking yeah. a vote so you would think that you if know you think someone's going to have another chance next year and the year after and the year after yeah but wacky vanishes into everything yeah. he does and I think we were talking about this earlier the way he was talking during his speech you kind of get that sense that he doesn't really like spending time being himself he didn't seem comfortable mm. in his own skin he was my awkward one I was talking about god he made me uncomfortable he made me uncomfortable he didn't move his hand from his face and he was mm. he, he looked incredibly um out of his depth yeah but this is what I think makes him such an interesting and um, intriguing I think you want to know why does he act mm. I like the idea of people acting because it does something for them or it gets them out of themselves and I think maybe mm. Joaquin's one of those people and I, I just like that it fascinates me Mm, yeah okay so we're moving on to uh the best pictures now yes um mm. best picture musical comedy i think this it's looking at it now was a no-brainer i guess so. um, once upon a time in hollywood yeah especially after it won screenplay i think it, it was pretty much a dead cert i went for knives out just thinking that people really really like that film and i just thought you know what the golden globe is unpredictable so i went for mm -hmm. it no clearly not i'd have loved to see that win i have to admit because yeah. i really enjoyed that had a thoroughly good time with it um mm. it re again really enjoyed jojo rabbit but that one i couldn't see winning no um just not there whereas mm. it's written all over once upon a time in hollywood mm. isn't it really when you think about it um, and they do love to hear about themselves don't they absolutely um, so that was quite quite an obvious one, yeah. um, and then we had best picture drama, which I was I picked it, yeah, but you I was did. so shocked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was nineteen seventeen, yeah. Um, and my, I, like I said to you, my reasoning for it was sound, um, but I just wasn't entirely convinced, yeah, that I, that it was going to happen because it hasn't come <laughs> out yet here, yeah. um, we haven't even seen it yet. No, um, it can't. comes out on Friday, um, and it, everybody seems to like it. Yeah. Um, but it's not quite getting the talk that the likes of The Irishman and mm -hmm. obviously when it came out, Joker was getting Joker. Yeah. I don't think it's going to win. It just hasn't got that mm -hmm. um, all roundedness. No, I, I think, think there's so. too much controversy um, yeah. like kind of linked to it for it to yeah. win. Um, I really was starting to think, God, this is going to look like The Irishman, I think. Yeah. You said that 1917 wasn't getting any talk until now and yeah, now exactly. everybody is talking about that and even sam mendes at the end was saying um yeah. he said go and see it i hope people this makes people see it yeah. and that's exactly what you want it to that what you want yeah. to happen yeah because it will people will go yeah mm -hmm. people will go and see it now yeah every time the trailer comes on you can just see the quality on the screen um so it yeah i i get the win i really do get the win it's maybe possibly that the Irishman is completely out of it now and it is going to be between 1917 and the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That could Maybe. be the, you know, mm. the matchup and who's going to get the the big one at the end. But we could have another sort of out of the blue steal, you know, spotlight one, mm -hmm. one year. Green Book stole it last year. So I think Marriage Story could potentially still just sneak in and... Oh, God, I'd love that. Oh, do you know what? I think that would... I, I'd just love that. But is it the best picture? That's, oh, that's I don't, the question. Is it the best picture? I don't picture? know. I don't know. But there's a few of them. There's a few of them I'd be quite pleased. I'd, I wouldn't mind seeing 1917 win, Marriage yeah. Story, um, even Joker. I would be I quite think, happy yeah. to see Joker win. <laughs> this is the first year in a long time you've actually been really excited, I think, about the film. You've actually enjoyed the films. Yeah, I'm not really, really excited yet. Not to the point of 2014 with like the theory of everything. Oh, no, yeah. The Imitation Game. That's my best mm. year for... Oh god, maybe ever, maybe since I've been watching yeah. the awards, that's probably my my top year. This is the first time you've actually been saying good things about every film, <laughs> or any I'm, film I really. Think growing, <laughs> I think I'm growing. I I feel like the last year, or year, maybe year and a half, um, I've got a lot more critical, and mm. I'm quite I'm harder to please, but I'm a bit fairer. Yeah. Is that is that a fair estimation? Do you I think? think so? Yeah, I can see I'm that. Trying to be a little bit more objective. But I have to say, I have to congratulate you. You got um, nine out of fourteen Yay. predictions. I never win as well. You so never we'll win, which is I why I let win. you. The comment that yeah. you made the other episode, I just thought <laughs> I'll let you. Um, I didn't even get half. I got six out of fourteen. Oh, 
Um, but, you know, looking at it, I think a lot of people were with me when they went Scorsese for director, Irishman oh, for yeah. picture. Obviously, I did two silly mistakes putting two popes for screenplay. Why on earth I did that? I don't know. Beanie Feldstein for Booksmart. Don't know why I did that. Got unlucky with Al Pacino and the Irishman. Mm. Went for a stab in the dark with Knives Out, thinking that everybody loved it. But again, like like we said, it, it's very hard to call the Golden yeah. Globes because there's no pattern yet. There's no precedent. No, that's true. There's nothing to go off yet. You're but, literally kind of making a stab in the dark. But you know what this means now? What's that? What this means is now I can only really improve. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to hope. There's a lot more categories at the Oscars, so you've got to hope you get more than six. Oh, God, I know. So, but if, if it's any consolation, I think we both know that you're going to win the rest of the season. This is oh, probably no. my only fluke win. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to rub it in and I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah, rub it in. I'm never going to win again. I'm just glad it's 1917 and not something that yes. I hate it. Um, yeah, well, yeah, I'll take that. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. So just your one memorable part of the night, because it oh, wasn't God. a very memorable show, I have not to say. Not particularly. Surprisingly, not one of the winners, really. It was a pre-decided one. I, I really liked the Tom Hanks and the Ellen DeGeneres award. I did, yeah. I have to say, they were probably the best bit. And I think maybe because the speeches were a bit more prepared as well. Um, yeah. But loose, loosely prepared. Yeah, I like that yeah. Ellen DeGeneres said that um, she really liked this one because she knew she was going to win beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ellen's was great, and her um, clip reel as well. That yeah. was really well put together. You don't always appreciate what she's actually done, not just for the industry, oh, but yeah. for people. Everybody, yeah, for people. Mm. Yeah, and Tom Hanks has obviously had a stellar career. And he got so emotional about his family. I was just like, oh. Yeah, it was nice so to see cute. him. I feel like we don't get to see him just sort of being him because he's so yeah. prevalent in the films. Mm -hmm. Just nice to hear him and actually listen to some of his wisdom. Yeah, obviously people just adore him. Yeah. And he comes across that way, though, doesn't he? He comes across so nice, you know. You tell it was the best choice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, speaking of the clips we were yeah. just saying there, <laughs> um, I thought they were terribly put together for the films. They were too quick. short. Really quick. Yeah. yeah. I mean, especially for stuff like the score and yeah, the music. You it. Literally, you couldn't hear it. No. It was like a, a two notes and move on. Two yeah. notes. Move on. You got no idea of it at all. Yeah. I don't think that was a good move. More reason to separate the TV and the film out. Yeah, it was because they were trying to rush and you could tell and uh, I wasn't on board for that. Um, I think my standout moment, apart from Olivia Coleman, because oh, God, of course. Just, when she gets on stage, she's just hilarious. Yeah. Apart from that, I think my standout moment was um, Brad Pitt's Titanic joke. Oh, about the raft. He called it a raft, which I thought was... I know, which was wrong. Which yeah. was wrong. At first I was like, what's he talking about? Oh, door, right. The door. So yeah. it's actually not a door. It was a piece of wooden um, wall oh. piece, but it's fine. I mean, we won't go there. Uh, but yeah, I really, really liked that. I just thought it was really funny. And yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio really laugh as well. Um, that was good. I really enjoyed oh, that. Nice. Very good. So, I liked that. So very, very quickly, um, yeah. should we just talk about the BAFTA noms that have come out today? Yes, they came out this morning and I forgot. Yes, <laughs> so did I. It came out of the, the film today at the cinema. I was like, Mm. Like, oh, they have. So, what's your takeaway then? Um, we've got a best casting category. I wasn't expecting. Oh, did you not know that was happening this year? I, I think maybe I'd heard about it whenever they announced it. All. They announced it a few months ago that they were adding it in as a new category. Yeah, no one else does that, so that's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, um, Klaus nominated for best animated. Yeah, yeah, I was so pleased. I was really chuffed a bit. Along with Shaun the Sheep, Farmageddon, <laughs> but we're Brits, so. Um, really mm. pleased to see the lighthouse in cinematography. Mm. It's interesting now we've got split screenplay categories. So obviously, Book Smart and Knives Out are there in the mm -hmm. original screenplay, yep. along with Which Parasite. Interesting. Yeah, I've noticed that the best director and best supporting actor categories are identical to the Golden Globe. So that'll be interesting to see a repeat mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. Taron Egerton got in for Rocket Man over uh, Robert De Niro again for the Irish. Again. Film. So obviously that's not going to happen unless he no. gets a surprise one at the Oscars, but mm, not yeah, sure at this point. Um, Saoirse Ronan, I'm pleased, has turned up. Mm. Uh, Scarlett Johansson's got two. 
nominated yeah. again. Um, Marriage Story for leading actress, obviously, and um, she's made it for Jojo Rabbit and supporting as well. Mm-hmm. And then the big shock for me was Margot Robbie. She got two supporting nominations in the same category. This ever happened? I don't know. In history, I know it's happened for best and supporting. Like obviously, like Scarlett Johansson's yeah, done this year, and um, I know Kate Winslet's done that before. Mm. Um, but no, I, I, I don't know if it's happened in the same category. But um, that might hinder her though, because it will I split the vote. So. Yeah, people won't want to pick either. Yeah, or. so pleased that Florence Pugh's there though. Mm. Really pleased. Yeah, we like her. Yeah. Oh god, she's fantastic. I loved her in Outlaw King last year. I thought mm, that was fantastic. Yeah. She was really good in that. Lady Macbeth, really good watch. Haven't seen that yet. Yeah. I really want to see it. I, I just didn't get a chance. I, mm. I missed it. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I think this is probably going to turn out to be like any other award season. Because um, mm. we always think when they start, oh, my God, it could go any way. Yeah. And then they don't, do they? They all start to kind of meld into this yeah. little pattern and it, and, and it becomes quite settled. There's always one big surprise, though, and it's often yes. the best picture, i found. I I really do think that's going to be the one this year that's yeah. very hard to pin down because you could justify quite a lot of them. Yeah. You know, it, there's, I don't think people would be unhappy to see a fair few of them win no. to be honest when it comes to us predicting i think we've just got to go with what you think and if we're wrong we're wrong but yeah yeah we can justify by saying look at the standard well yeah the, the, it's very high this year yeah. it is very high um yeah. i've not been so sure the last few years um i mean green book winning last year i just i really don't understand you it were very all. unhappy though yeah. i was very unhappy and it's not that i didn't enjoy the film when i saw it i did um, but I, I, I don't think it's a best picture. I just no. don't. Roma should have won, and I yeah. didn't even like Roma. <laughs> I, I'm more intrigued with this season. I've been a bit disappointed because there's been none that I could really back. Um, and I haven't seen 1917 yet, but I think I'm going to really like it. Yeah, I'm going to be behind that. Yeah, and I really enjoyed Marriage Story. I thought Joker, I do think it was just incredibly done. Yeah. The, just the whole thing. Um, I'm, I'm a lot more uh, excited about this yes. one than I have been in, in quite a few years. So that's good. Yeah. So is there a film then, let's say, from the Golden Globe winners um, mm-hmm. that you'd like to recommend this week? There is, because I saw it today, um, mm. and I do think it's definitely worth the watch, um, and that's Jojo Rabbit. Right. Um, it was, across the board, just very well made. Yeah. Um, Taika Waititi is just, I'm not, he's just hilarious. He, he really is. He plays Adolf Hitler in the film. <laughs> um, but he does, he just is a complete joke. Yeah. He's a joke. He's, he's just a buffoon. And that's how he's portrayed. And that's it, it, there's nothing wrong with that. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's not controversial anyway. You know exactly what he's doing with it. And I was completely okay with that. Yeah. Um, the uh, production design was fantastic. The costumes were fantastic. Um, Scarlett Johansson was very good, actually. Mm, yeah. She gave a very different performance, I thought, than what she's done in... in recent years and definitely very different from marriage story mm-hmm. and which is why i think she's got the both nominations because they're very different and roman griffin davis is he is superb mm-hmm. for a kid that young fantastic and his character arc during the movie as well is brilliant mm-hmm. so i think it's worth um going to see and if you do see it i'd love to hear what other people thought yes what about you it was only just nominated this year mm-hmm. at the Golden Globe. So uh, when Annette Benning got a supporting nomination for the report, it was great. So um, Adam Driver's a, he works for the FBI. He's been tasked with investigating how the CIA capture and interrogate suspected terrorists, the use of torture techniques suspected to be going on in the background. And it's just one of those films that you just thought, why did I not know more about this before? And throughout, yeah. a bit like when I watched um, Boy Erased, um, you roll your eyes all the way through and think, I can't believe this happened. Yeah, they got away with it. Yeah, subject matter-wise, it was great. It made you think, God, why is this only coming out now? Why are we only mm-hmm. finding out about this now? And it's, it, I just thought it was super interesting. Adam Driver's great. I'm really coming round to him. 
Yeah. I really am. And I'm, I've been looking forward to seeing this. I really like a film like that. It reminds me a little bit of Spotlight, like the um, yeah. investigating a, a, a serious topic. I really, really enjoy films like that. I liked The Post and I really enjoy um, All the President's Men. Yeah. That kind of subject matter and that tone of a film, I really, really like them. So I'm really looking forward yeah. to seeing that. I, I just love films where you feel like you're learning at the same time. Yeah. But you're no less entertained at the same time. So the report is my recommendation for this week. Fantastic. Right, well, that's it, isn't it? That's it is it. actually, yeah. So what are we doing next week, Matt? Well, believe it or not, next Monday the Oscar nominations are going to be announced. So we're going to be doing probably yet another big discussion of all of the nominations from that, but also for the Critics' Choice Award as well, which should have happened by then. Okay. And uh, Matt, you're always better at this than me. Where can they find us? You can find us on Facebook and YouTube as CineChat Podcast. We're on Instagram at CineChat underscore official. Twitter at CineChat Pod. You can listen on Spy... For God's sake. Spotify. Spy iTunes. Spy wow. Tunes is that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if someone wants to invent spy tunes, go for it. That sounds um, awesome. I'm going to have to copyright it. <laughs> Spotify, <laughs> iTunes, and Spreaker. You can email us at cinechatofficial at gmail.com as well. We're everywhere. Search for Cine Chat Podcast. You'll find us. <laughs> Time to sleep now. <laughs> it's bye from me. <laughs> bye from me. We'll talk about the Oscars next week. <laughs>